hi guys welcome to skh collection um if you guys are new welcome welcome if you guys are returning thank you so much for coming back we really appreciate it today we're going to be showing you how to fill your bobbin and put it inside the bobbin area for the brother pe800 um so before we get into the video and directions and all that if you guys don't mind, please hit that notification bell so that when we upload our videos, you guys will be the first ones to get it. Also, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It will really help us out. The more likes and share we get, it will help other people to learn how to do silly little things like this. That means so much. So with that being said, let's get into it. So you have two ways of doing um, your bobbins. You can purchase like this or... Hopefully my camera is not true. Or you can purchase like this. So I have this big old, the bigger spool. And you can use, obviously, you don't have to just purchase the small ones that goes here. You can use these big ones and just get the thread holder. I'm not sure what this is called, but this is what I'm calling it, a thread holder. <laughs> but we're not going to do that one. We're just going to use this tiny one because most people have this. So first step, you need your little bobbins. Okay, so on the bobbins, in the circle, there's a little, like a little cut. On your bobbin thing here, it has a little, a little notch, a little hook, whatever this is called. You're going to line that up in this cut, all right? So first thing is, you're going to take your thread. Always make sure that your thread is coming from bottom to top, okay? So put it in the spool put this and then you're gonna go and follow the direction so the first thing is one then you're gonna go up directions number two is for a bobbin is this way you put it through there and then you find your bobbin wheel thread wheel and I'm gonna just push this through the hole there's some holes there this is how I do mine. You can do it going up, going down. So I'm just going to put my little thread in here. If I can get it. I can't even see. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to pull it up. And then once I get it in there, I'm going to line up the little notch like I told you. With the notch here, whatever direction it's going. Push it down. And then you push it and snap it. Once you snap it your light is going to become orange. That's to let you know that you can start doing the, the, the thread in. So just hit it. And it's going to keep spinning really, really fast. When it's um, full, it's going to start slowing down. And then you can just go ahead and just stop it. Um, I always do this and I hold my thread all the way up and then when I'm done, I either cut it off or I cut it while it's doing this. So once that's going, see how fast it's spinning? And you can always look. If you look between that and this, you're gonna see the gap of how far the thread is. And then you can just estimate for yourself and then stop it. So I'm gonna stop it now. That's just my piece of thread, you see? And I'm gonna cut it and that's it. Oh, let's get the scissors so I can trim that piece. So I just trim that off. Pull this off. Flip up. And I'm just going to cut it. Now, let me see in my camera if you guys can see. All right. So let me just put this down. Bear with me so you guys can see how to do that. And I'm going to try my best to zoom in. I zoom in. And I might have to bring this a little closer. Bear with me, guys. I'm recording off my phone. All right. So let's just see if we can get this to see. Okay. All right. All right. So. Okay. So I'm going to put this on and then show you. So when you do this, there's a little latch. You just push the latch down backwards. This comes off. Now you're gonna take this and you're gonna always make sure that your thread is coming from the back to the front. 
all right you just drop it in i always hold my finger down and then you just follow the gauges okay so just take your thread pull it around let it go in pull it around and just guide it into the slot put it in cut and guess what that's that and then you just put your cover back on and that's it you are ready to go and do your embroidery design see how easy that was it's really really easy so again this is how you do the brother pe 800 this is the only machine and brother machine that i own so i don't know if all the machines do it the same way maybe this all oh, they probably do but this is just what i have so this is all i know so if this video is helpful for you guys um please give us a thumbs up share like comment subscribe it will really help us out so with that being said guys have a good day hopefully this video helped you guys bye bye